Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are enjoying this content. Um, I've been having so much fun with this deck. And I'm coming up against another Spiritomb, Gengar. He was in the um, uh, featured a bit today. And just demolishing people with his deck. So it'll be interesting what my deck will compare with his. Both Spiritomb. Mine's more of a Spiritomb Panda Rush. Uh, and let's, this will give it a proper test of how it's going to survive. So he goes defensive with the Mew, and if people are going defensive, I'm all about that. And I'm definitely going to start my little pandas rushing up the side. Let's see what he wants to send out against me. Sceptile, yep, probably a good choice. If he attacks and I get like a crazy spinner or a swap out right now, and I get a miss. <laughs> Not surprising to be honest, because two of these pandas are level one. Um, <coughs> because I just pulled them. And I'm keeping one for my Luck of the Booster tournaments, which is going on at the moment. So let me know if you guys are excited for some of that. Um, going to rush up here with my pandas and block off this Moltres. If Moltres jumps over me, I was just going to surround anyway. So I don't really care about that. I'm going to send my DOA up and just start trying to attack and demolish some things. Um, I was just going to check out their plates there. But I'm just going to check them out now. So switch, 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 recycle, and gold block. All right, so I want to start using some plates since he's got a recycle. But first, I'm just going to take this Mew and then look to hurdle jump over. All right, got my white. Respin him time. Hopefully, he gets that his white. And there we go. Quarter, um, one-fourth of the chance that that's going to happen. And that's why I, I don't mind attacking in with a DOA. Some people don't, but my pandas are also there to swap my DOA out if I get a slip. Um, <coughs> Alright, so I want to start using some plates. He's got his recycle. I want to get ahead of him on the game. So, hurdle jump time. I probably could have just attacked, a double chance attacked, just to get rid of um, Empoleon right about there. And I probably should have, to be honest. But we'll see what he wants to do here, how he wants to combat me. Alright, so he sends out Empoleon. My Zapdos should be able to handle that. And hopefully he does, and hopefully Zapdos doesn't uh, <laughs> miss like a lot of them do. Ooh, that's about the worst part. <laughs> so we'll see what he wants to do here. Switch going down. Oh, he's dropping his spirit to him right now. And he's going to curse me. My panda, <laughs> no. <laughs> that's exactly what I'll do as well. So... Panda cursed. All right, that that ain't what I'm needing. Um, I probably don't need to do this, but I will anyway, just because I'm trying to burn plates like he is. Um, switch, and I'm gonna try and curse this penguin, and he gets the dodge. Come on, <laughs> come on, he's nearly all white. Um, it was definitely gonna be either penguin or septile. Um. So that's a bit sad. I don't mind if mine gets surrounded. So I, I kind of don't want it to get surrounded, to be honest. But um, if I get it surrounded and I can just recycle it, it's better to have it on the bench than on the field for me at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to cover up my, my goal. And if he wants to surround, that's fine. I'll look to start recycling my pandas. And he's just going for an attack. This is interesting. And I get the curse. <laughs> oh, I love that. I definitely love that. Um, I'm just going to block him off now so I don't get surrounded. And after this, then we'll see what we can do. Um, this is interesting. So hopefully I can get my yellow. <laughs> Another curse. <laughs> I would love to just get my yellow and then just remove him right about then. Um, that would be cool. That would be fun. Um, so I could potentially try attacking or switching, but I think I think a cool option. I just want to get that gold. I should, probably should double chance. I should have just uh, double chance this. Um, I should have double chance. Now we're both cursed. All right, so we can both end up losing our spirit tombs right about here, and that won't be pretty. Alright, so he's attacking with Panda. He wants to get me removed. Oh, yes, Panda. Thank you, Panda. So, definitely going to be moving my Panda up right about now. 
Um, mulches can, can, can only come out on the entry about now. Um, there we go. And then I'll just move my panda up to block it off so mulches can't just jump over. Or I can threaten the goal. I may want to threaten the goal, to be honest. And then he'll have to walk on over. And then, now I can cover his entry with panda or I can attack the spiritum. So let's just do that now. Hopefully I can remove it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> spiritum getting removed. Hopefully mine doesn't, if he attacks it with his mulchies, <laughs> that won't be pretty. I don't, I don't want that to happen. Oh, all right, so Mulchies came down but didn't attack. That's interesting. I'm just going to try and attack it, see if I can't knock it out. Ooh, double miss. No, I think we'll be happy with that. I think we'll definitely be happy with that. Nobody wants a miss. So, this is it's definitely scary. He doesn't want to attack my... He sees the surround options and I should have gone for as much as I can. But I just want to knock this thing out. Oh, come on. Do it go again. Give me that white. Give me that white. Roost. Alright, well, Roost is better than that for now because he would have been setting up the surround next turn. So... Mm, what do I want to do? He doesn't have a uh, max revive, so he can't surround me. No, no max revive. I'll, I need to use my plates so I can max use the most of that. <coughs> use the most of that. Um, what do we call it? Uh, recycle. So I'm just going to switch my Zapdos into there. Get get my get my uh, little cursed Spiritomb out of the way. Um, Zap, now Moltres can't hop over me to surround me, and I can keep having a bit of a play. Hopefully I get some, I'll take that, I'll take that, because I can paralyze all of his mons right about now, and Melmala paralyze is horrible. Boom. And DOA only you lose like an itty bitty little miss, so I'll definitely take that. Sceptile can't take me out with gold, that's... This this could be pretty good. I'm hoping for my gold right about now. <laughs> Another thunder charge, all right. Thunder charges are coming down. So right now I should feel pretty safe to attack with my um, with my deer. But I'm just going to try with my uh, panda instead. Since he's got that giant miss, maybe I can take him out. I swap out. But I've got nothing on the bench. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. So max revive left and... A double chance, so I should I should definitely be attacking with my DOA. Uh, hopefully this time. <laughs> Man, why is that those? Just spinning those purples. <laughs> Where are those golds at? My even my opponent will be thinking that. So this is what I should have done last turn. I'm just going to do it now. Um, if I get a slip, then I. Uh, yeah, this is the way I should have done it. Because if I got a slip, then I could use my panda to potentially get him back. Because, it... yeah. Anyway. So he's going to be goal blocking right about now. Unless he wants to jump over with Moltres, but I, I, he could do either. Yep, goal block. There we go. So now that he's goal block, I just need to shut down his entry. There we go. And then he'll probably move out with Sceptile, and I can block off his other entry. And if he doesn't knock one of my mons out, he's going to get surrounded. So, hoping for that miss of his, or... Okay, I'll take a stealth hit. I'll definitely take a stealth hit. Um, I've got a, got a... I can go for the entry, block his entry off, but then he'll be able to threaten my cursed Spiritum, and I, I can't have my... I can't have my Zapdos being surrounded right about now. I don't want that to happen. Mew coming out probably won't be the end of the world, um, but rather, rather, I have the problem when I go really offensive, as you guys have heard, I've, I've said this before on the channel, that I go offensive a lot, and you guys have seen me go offensive a lot, and sometimes lose games because I'm always just pushing forward. Um, ooh, D-slip, 
let's see if I can't get some of that white or blue happening. Nope, <laughs> not this time. Not this time. I took his Mew out for the first time with a lucky roll, and he got me with one too, so fair enough. Um, I'm not going to attack just yet. I'm just going to leave him there, leave his entry points pinned. Um, he can't move his Moltres off now, and... Alright, so he plays his Mew defensively. Interesting. But right about now, I'm definitely just going to burn my Max Revive. I want to use all my plates ready for that, um, ready for that recycle. And I want to attack this thing. See if I can't knock it out with that miss of his, or with his white. Ooh, and I get that miss. So stealth is going to go off. Um, at least it's not Zapdos missing. <laughs> at least Dio gets a chance to respin. Um, there we go, so if he doesn't take this out, if I get like my curse, if I get my curse right about now, then, oh yeah, I was going to say he'll be in surround territory, he got his, um, um, I don't have my max revive anymore so I can't surround him, um, <laughs> but that would have been fun. So what I can do now, I can either move Zapdos to, to potentially surround or I can move Dio to block off stuff it so then I can surround next turn, which I think is what I'm going to try and do. Um, and also Dio can cover the goal if I need him to. Destiny Barn, that won't be good. <laughs> my cursed, my cursed Spiritum there, holding out. Come on Spiritum, don't give up on me. Come on Septile, keep getting that, that miss and that stealth hit. Curse, oh yes, oh, I love that curse, he's, Spiritomb is such an awesome one, um, that's going to be the surround, bye bye, bye bye Septol, um, <laughs> oh, this is fun, alright, so he's just giving me the goal, we're not attacking, so that's going to be it, I'm not going to play around with him, Panda on the goal, thank you Genka, good game, that was fun. I'm enjoying this deck. This is an awesome deck, and I hope you guys are too. Um, love to hear from you guys, as always. Let me know what you guys think of this deck, um, and yeah, love to hear from you. So, see you next time.